invite into this WhatsApp group chat. Uh, I do my best to accommodate all, and so forgive me if I've ever fallen short. Thank you. Thank you very much. And finally, Mayor Abdullah Hamoud, spoken word. <laughs> spoken word. I feel like I've just said everything I wanted to say in my long-winded answers to all those questions. Um, you know, I, I, um, I was not always confident in being Abdullah Sin Hamoud. I'll tell you that. Uh, I grew up uh, largely bullied. I was a very small kid in high school um, and in middle school and elementary school. And growing up in the post 9-11 era, whenever we went out as, as Arab uh, and as Arab men, we all had nicknames. Uh, I was Abe, Yahya was John, Muhammad was Kurt, Mustafa was Steve, Ali was Alex, and, and the whole nine. It's because we didn't want to say our names out loud whenever we left the city. And I recall when I was 16, we're in the city of Livonia, and we're using our, our nicknames. We got surrounded by about 25 white men in their 20s. I was 16. And they flung their cigarettes at us, and they said, uh, we don't want your Middle Eastern oil. We want British petroleum. And we had to walk away because we're surrounded by 20 to 30 men. I remember when I got accepted to University of Michigan Ann Arbor, Ann Arbor was supposed to be this progressive mecca and the brightest and the best are in this institution. I'm in my first semester of my Master of Public Health and I sit down at the table and it's in the winter, there's a snowstorm. I take off my hat. On the inside of my hat, there was actually a quote from the Bible. And I read it to the group that was sitting with me. I was like, man, this is really cool. And the gentleman across from me said, took the hat, read the quote, and he said, did you know that your prophet slaughtered millions of people to start his religion? And the girl sitting next to him, also in my class, said, yeah, I learned the same thing. And I had nothing to counter their point. And I used to go then by Abe and Abdullah and accommodate to anybody that couldn't get my name right. It was that day when I was 19 I said, I will no longer ever accommodate for anybody. But be, in order for me to do that, I have to educate myself on who I am, what my lineage is, and more about my faith and my identity. And I think that's what I've tried to do since that day when I was 19. As mayor, you're challenged on a daily basis to get things 100% right. And I think the difficulty that people fail to see is humans are flawed. And so by default, Abdullah Hamoud is flawed. And you know, the job I relate to most, interestingly, is to that of my uncle, the Sheikh. And we sit and we talk for hours and our similarities are people expect you to be perfect in everything you do and say. And when they talk about you, you can't respond. And you also know the things that the traditional folk might not know. Meaning the person who's talking about you might have a whole host of secrets that, you're, that you are aware of for why the actions are such, but you can't talk about it. And what I tell folk is, Matka Bruna, we're just people. I don't want you to hold me on this high pedestal of be Abdullah, so on and so forth. Uh, I'm, I'm just a human being. And no doubt, I'm going to fail multiple times. I'm going to get things wrong multiple times. And the only quality that I enjoy in myself is that I try to always do better. And I try to keep myself grounded. And alhamdulillah, I have the wife that is able to keep me grounded uh, and give me the honest to God truth in anything of my actions. And that's what I would tell all of you. That's the message I have. Uh, don't aim for perfect because uh, it doesn't exist. And don't hold people up so high that you're going to be disappointed because I promise you I will disappoint you at some point in time, whether you know it or not. And I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I think uh, that, that's, that's honestly uh, my, my thought process. That's why I've given you any spoken word. You know, it's not in poetic fashion, so forgive me. There's no rhyming scheme to my, uh, my spoken word. But um, those are my thoughts. You know, I have to uh, accept that. Um, and, and just do my best. And with that, I thank you all so much for having me. Um, I thank you all for coming out and wish you all a great night. Thank you so much, Mayor Hamoud. Thank you everybody for coming out. We're here every third Wednesday of the month. Thank you so much, Mayor.
Perfect. Thank you guys so much. Listen, next time you come out, you know, we can sign up. If you have some spoken word, you perform some music, you do anything like that, um, you can sign up or just come on out. We open the stage and we're here again every third Wednesday of the month. On your way out, check out the ASAP table. All right. Thank you, of course. Good night, everybody. See you.